pop, bench, pop, bench, pop, bench, pop, bench. This show is sponsored by Dr. Foster's Hanging Baskets. Hello there and welcome to informative new review show, Park Bench, where we'll be reviewing things that are of importance to the general public. And please welcome my very first guest. It's North London's 18th best comic, Josh Howie. Josh Howie, Josh Howie, Josh Howie, Josh Howie. Today we looked into something that is of great importance to the general public, which is... Places to go to the toilet. We used four different places to go to the toilet, and the first was Josh's bathroom. How did you feel in the privacy of your own home going to the loo? Uh, that, that is the safe zone mm -hmm. for me. That's, that's ground zero. Um, what do you mean ground zero? Well, it just means I, I, that's where I can really get it, get it done. Yeah. Um, it was weird you being in there with me, but mm -hmm. that I haven't done that before. Um, I, I have a bit of an issue. Did that make you feel more or less safe? A little, just a little bit less safe. Okay. It wasn't, you know, I didn't feel like you were going to attack me or whatever, but I yeah. couldn't. I felt like I might attack you. <laughs> Venue number two, a wall. When going to toilet against a wall, I think a human being is probably at their most defenceless. Yeah, I mean, but depending on how many hands you use mm. for the actual urination, mm. or if you're doing a poo. I don't think you'd ever, ever do that against a wall. I think wall. people have done a poo against a wall. When have you ever seen a poo against a wall? Okay, let me just tell you a story about my dad quickly. I wasn't planning on telling you okay. this. Okay. Okay, but um, Christmas or New Year's Eve, uh, this was must be about 15, 20 years ago. My parents are still together. Uh, we, they went out, got totally drunk, and we woke up on New Year's Day, at, at, this is in Mallorca, and mm -hmm. in the spare room on the wall was a poo. Right. Right? Down the wall? Down the wall, like from the wall, uh, from where, like bum height, down onto the floor, right? Mm -hmm. So we were like, what's going on? Like we heard some screams, we ran up, and then there in the spare room was this poo on a wall, okay? Now okay. in that part of the house, the only people who lived there were my mum and my dad yeah. who stayed there. So it was obviously one of them. And and we were and they were and my dad was like, Oh, an animal must have come in in the middle of the night. And, and pooed against the and wall. Pooed against the wall. Good excuse. Uh, but um, upon closer examination, my sister was like, No, that's definitely a human poo. And, and then we were like, well, it was one of you two by elimination. So it was yeah. like mum or dad. And my dad was really defensive about it. He was like, well, there was no way it was me. And uh, if, you know, if it was me, there would be like poo on my side of the bed. And he lifted up his sheets and there was... <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> he's like, that doesn't mean anything because we were so drunk last night. We don't know if, if your mum or your mother or I, which end Did of the bed. Did you check your mum's side no, of the no. bed as well? Yeah, there wasn't well, that side of the bed. But he was like, well, who's by the bed? We didn't know whose side of the bed was on who. So he said, oh, look, it wasn't me. If it was me, there would be poo in my bum. <laughs> <laughs> and this, is, this so, is the reason why your parents got divorced. If it, you know what? It was about six months later. But, uh, yeah, so the point is, yes, you can poo on a wall. OK, well, that, we've, that le we we've learned something um, new today. You can poo on a wall, you but it will ultimately lead in the end of your marriage. Venue number three, public toilets. Now, obviously, there's a massive range of toilet, mm. public toilets in, in quality. The one we went to was... Definitely at the lower end yeah. of, of the scale. Um, You're probably more at danger in a public toilet than you are against a wall. Yes, but if you were going to go and attack someone who was in the toilet, I think you would go to a toilet. Yeah. You wouldn't necessarily go to a wall and hope that someone would turn up drunk or something. Yeah. So I think, you know, it's a sort of focal point for crazy people who would attack people in the toilets. Benny number four, the woods. Going for a wee is probably the best thing that you can do in the woods, compared, to, you know, on the scale of then uh, the best of the bad things that you can mm. do in the woods. If someone happens upon you at that moment, that's why I get very insecure. That's why I kind of prefer using a wall, just putting out there my sort of disgustingness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because at least they go, all right, well, he's just a drunk, bleh, whatever. But you, you, you're hidden in the woods; it can backfire. A lady if someone, if you. someone sees you, yeah. and you think automatically, well, you're choosing to say I'm just going to go to the toilet, but that's going to be the same as, Everybody, yeah. as any, a pervert. Any kind of clever rapist is going to use that. I don't know if you want to use that word. Okay, clever sexual deviant. 
let's sum up in our conclusion. We've been to the loo in four different places. Um, what was your favourite of those? My my home. Okay. Yeah, there's no question. It's always going to be my home. Um, home is, you know, it's not where the heart is. It's where... Home is where the loo is. Yeah, you know, it is. Well, that's it for the first episode of Park Bench. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Josh Howie. Have you got anything you would like to promote? Um, no. Thank you. And hopefully we'll see you next time. Bye, viewers. Park Bench, Park Bench, Park Bench, Park Bench.